The best way to describe how we saw the change in Oklahoma City was when we took this space, which is now Ludovine, which is now almost in the center of everything, it was nothing. When we took this space over, it was us, some street people, some, street. yeah, and an old yoga studio, and that was it. And honestly, part of the reason we came down here is we could afford it. You know, there was nothing going on, there was no traffic. There's always traffic now. So we've been kind of in the kind of ground zero a little bit and just watching things explode around us. I mean, yeah. when we first started telling people where we were, oh. whether we said the address, that was Hudson. They're like, there's a Hudson? Where's Hudson? I'm like, yeah, it's, it's, on the it's south real. Side. <laughs> and then we had, and then we'd say Midtown, which was still kind of a little bit off back then. And now, I mean, I live up north and I can tell people where we are and they're like, oh yeah, that's right next to this or that. When we got the space, we, we knew what MAPS was gonna do. And so we're like, okay, this may not be the best space now, but I bet in five years, if everything goes well, it'll be there. And it's not and gonna it get has. any worse. It's only gonna get worse. Yeah, and it's, 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 the growth has been, I think on everybody's level, there's like one to 10 and then insane. And we're kind of in that insane realm. You know, just the whole streets growing up. We have neighbors. You know, we have Bar 3 Studio, which is a form of workout. All their classes are full all the time. Desmond Mason Art Gallery next door. The salon, which I didn't know what would happen with that. They're packed. Pretty much every space adjacent to us is occupied and, and with stuff that generates traffic. We're just like, you know, a, a business tucked inside this big, mostly vacant, <laughs> vacant building and, and nothing even really in the, in the blocks adjacent to us. I mean. We were, you know, there was Plaza Court and the roundabout and sort of that part of Midtown, and that's kind of what people considered Midtown was that part of it. And we were, even though we we're just a few blocks from it, we were just far enough removed to where it, we were kind of off the grid and really had to be a, a destination. Foot traffic was purely non-existent, but it definitely exists now. I mean, there's always people out walking around the sidewalks, going to the coffee shop or whatever. That, that is a big change down here. Now there's dog parks around, there's people yeah. jogging, there's people with strollers, there's kids on bikes all the time. Yeah. I mean, there's patios open for brunch left and right and people running in the streets on Sundays. Mm -hmm. I would come down here on Sunday just to do office work and it was a ghost town. Now there's cars and people everywhere. Yeah. There's people jogging. That means something <laughs> to me. And there's also just so much more residential stuff down here now. The amount of condos and townhouses and rental apartments that have been built in the last five years is insane. We have staff, young people that love living down here and some don't have cars which is shocking. Yeah, in Oklahoma City, but I feel like that's that huge. I could see being a young professional or just married and how fun it would be to live down here now.